I love this new tradition of three football games on Christmas Day, and it's that much better when my favorite team is playing to kick off the festivities, and I'm not even giving you the Dolphin Homer narrative. I love the Miami Dolphins on Sunday laying the points against the Green Bay Packers. Let's not get nuts with Green Bay. I know Aaron Rodgers is on the sideline. Give him a ton of credit. He's a future Hall of Famer. But please, they beat the Chicago Bears, who they never lose to. They beat a beat-up Los Angeles Ram team. The Miami Dolphins are not losing four straight games. They got too much firepower. They're 6-1 in their own building. I think the Dolphins laying the points is a strong play. I also think the over in this game is a winner. Now in game two, I hate doing this because they've been an awful team all year, but I'm gonna take the Denver Broncos and hold my nose and hope that they can take care of a beat up Los Angeles Ram team. They're getting Russell Wilson back. Their defense has been solid all year. And I just think the Rams had their moment a couple weeks ago against Vegas. I do not think they will have another moment here on Christmas Day. But did you think I was going to come on and give you three favorites? No, that's no fun. That's not my MO. That's not what we do around here. Game three is another hold you know special. But I'm going to grab seven and a half with the Arizona Cardinals against the vastly overrated Tampa Bay Buccaneers who yucked up a 17-point lead to Cincinnati last week. Seven and a half, they can't cover seven and a half against anybody with the way they're playing right now. I'm going with Penn State and Indy Lion, Chase McSorley. I'm grabbing seven and a hook. This is going to be an ugly game. So give me the Dolphins in the over. Give me the Denver Broncos. And give me the Arizona Cardinals. And that's how you spend the Christmas holiday.